Hello and welcome to Build. I'm Will Best and as always we are live from London. Now I wouldn't want anyone reading any extracts from my personal diary, otherwise they'd know the true extent of my Love Island obsession. It's actually it's quite unhealthy. But we cannot wait to hear from the cast who are taking to the stage to perform The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, age 33, no, age 13 and three quarters. That'd be a very, very different play. Please welcome Kobe Watson, Nicholas Tibbetts, Regan Garcia, and Molly Mae Gibson. Welcome. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, welcome to the show. Thank You're you. definitely, none of you are 33, are you? <laughs> that was, uh, no, no. Um, well, guys, first of all, congratulations. Thank I've you. Seen Thank the, you. I've seen the play and it's absolutely fantastic. Now, before we get into the interview, very quickly, as ever, if you're watching live, remember you can tweet your questions at Build Series London or leave a comment under the video if you're watching on Facebook. So guys, for anybody watching who doesn't know, what can you tell us about Adrian Mole? Can you give us the kind of, in a nutshell, what is the musical all about? Basically, the musical is all about Adrian and Adrian's life and all the thing he's going through because when he's 13 and just school and girls and stuff like that. And it's really hectic for him and it's, just, it's really fun. It's very funny, isn't it? Yeah. It, it yeah. just shows how funny life can be. Yeah. Yeah. Even though when you're 13 and three quarters, it doesn't always feel like it. Some funny stuff happens. Well, look, I think we should probably uh, see an extract of you guys reading some little bits from the diary that you filmed. This got sent to us earlier. This is funny <laughs> oh, too. Check this out. Scared. Wow. <laughs> that, you, you found that quite excruciating and embarrassing, didn't you? Yeah, that was, yeah, I found that yeah. quite embarrassing just watching it. <laughs> yeah. But that's what diaries are like. They're yeah. not meant to be read by the public, <laughs> but this diary has been read by you guys and turned into a musical. Yeah. What was it like when you first read the script, reading the innermost thoughts of, of Adrian Mole? I mean, for, for, it for was you. so funny. It was just, it was really clever as well. And it's just, he's, been, he's really dramatic and it's just, he, it's so funny. Did you guys find stuff you could relate to in, in Adrian's um, diary? Kind of, yeah, because it's, it depends really because it's like set in the 80s as well. So it's kind of like different. different time. Yeah. I mean, so I wasn't even born then. <laughs> I was. I was. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like we, we can relate to some stuff, I think, but not yeah. all of it because it's like mm. some of it like relies on how, when it was set in the 80s. So it's yeah. Yeah. But I guess, you know, when you're a young person, the kind of stuff you're going through, yeah. I can imagine it's it's pretty universal. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's talk yeah. a bit about getting the part because this is an amazing achievement that you guys have yeah. gone and got yourselves major roles in a West End musical. Now, was <laughs> this the first time on, on the West End stage for, for all of you? Or? Um, for me it was. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've done um, yeah, other stuff. We've done yeah. other stuff. We've done other stuff. What, what have you guys done in the past? Uh, I, I did Matilda and Chess. Of course you did. Yeah. And Matilda's still on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah across, the, across the road from you guys. Yeah. And this was your first one. Yeah. So how did you find out that you got the role? Um, well, someone called my mum and, yeah, <laughs> someone called my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Always call. They've got to clear it with mum first. Yeah. They can't just call you direct. Someone called my mum. My mum started to get teary eyes. She told me, and I slammed my face into a door. <laughs> oh, upset by, by mistake, not yeah. because yeah, yeah. I was too. Ha I was so excited. I was. I was over the moon. Yeah. Of course, was, of course. It was, it was so like I was. I, I literally. I. I was on a holiday when I found out I was in Wales, and um, I was like with my best friend, my brother, and his best friend, my nan. Like everyone was there, and like my mum knew like an hour before I did because like I wasn't with her at the time. I was at the house, and um, she was like. I don't know, getting something. And um, she came back and I was asleep. So she like woke me up. She was like, Molly, Molly, come downstairs. Like the boys have got a dance to show you. So they like start dancing. <laughs> they start dancing and I'm just like, okay, what is this? And then um, and then like after I'm just like, they're like trying, I don't know, they're trying to like distract me. And then it just went silent. And I was just like, cause everyone was looking at me. I was like, what? And then she, my mom just like screamed. She's like, she got it. And I just like burst into tears. I don't know. I just like, I burst into tears. It was and so it's funny. amazing. Well, your parents are in, the audience here. My, my parents, pa whose parents have we got? Are, are all my of your parents, parents in here? Yeah. No, my, my mine aren't. Yours aren't. No. You're, but you, you've got your parents my here. Yeah. Grandma's, here. grandma's yeah. here. Well, congratulations, guys. They couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> you know, they've got to get it from somewhere, right? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Round of applause for the parents and grandparents, big time. So you found out that you got the parts. Brilliant. 
everything's very exciting, but then begins rehearsals. Yeah. Now, I was in a couple of plays at school. I mean, very different. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking little stuff. But I used to find rehearsing quite hard and it's quite repetitive. It can be a little bit boring at times. How did you guys find it? Did you enjoy that? It was. Well, it was not boring was at all. It was like, it's not boring. It's because it the show's like so like, I don't fun know, it's just it. so fun. Like, there's literally no boring it bits. It doesn't get and, like, boring. Like, so, like, because yeah. we, we only had, like, a short space of time to rehearse, so we're, we were just learning new things, like, every day. So it was, really? like, yeah, yeah. It was so Some yeah. things change, and then they change again. Yeah, literally in the again. last week, they literally... Before we opened, they changed loads of stuff. Like, yeah, one whole and number. My, and we were one like, of my scenes, it just kept on changing. It never stayed <laughs> the same. Literally, yeah. it, was so funny. It, it didn't stop changing until the point where the show actually opened. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The show never gets boring, though, because even though yeah. we've seen it, the same thing billions of times, so we still find it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Tears, laughing. If it's, and, yeah, because yeah, people start to like. Not every show is really the same, improvise is it? Improvise and get into their character. Really? So people are kind of. You, do you get a chance to improvise a bit as well on, on stage? Uh -huh. I mean, like, because we all. There's all four teams of like us kids. So, like, we all do it differently, like how we like mm. do the show. So, like, it's quite cool to see like how we all different because like yeah. we've seen like other teams do the show, like yeah. we watch them. Yeah, so oh, it's, like, I so see. Cool. it's so cool to see like. Is there a little competitive. Element no, going I don't on think there. there is. Not, like, no, like, we're all like no. so. Each. We're all so close. Like we're all like really good friends. Each yeah. person like brings their own different thing yeah. to the character. Yeah, yeah. and like, I, I suppose you you want to be different from each other, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. because yeah. everyone has their own di um, like personalities. They yeah. can like kind of take on the character in their own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's amazing. Cool. And and Reagan, have you got a favorite song from the? My film? personal favorite song is Misunderstood. Okay. And I would say that's just because. I have a solo in it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, honesty, it's the best policy. It's your big moment. Well, could you could you give us a little a little rendition? Yeah, maybe. Do, do a little, Me? Do a start yeah. Oh, okay. Are you? Are you? Do, is, yeah, yeah. So I mean, do a little solo. Join in, guys. Do, do, solo, do, just, yeah. do the solo and then and then join in. Why not? Okay. Oh, <laughs> On a Friday night. On a Friday night. I get up my punk rock outfit. And I wear it tight So the girls will talk about it Tonight's the night I'm gonna score <laughs> When they see this gangster hit the floor But my mum says, oh you prat, no way Are you going out like that? But mum doesn't understand where fashion's at I'm just a bit Misunderstood. I feel like we should be clapping along. I'm just a bit misunderstood. Because when you're a sporty and pubescent, teenage adolescent, lost in childhood, you're misunderstood. Woo! Oh, yeah! Brilliant stuff. Amazing. A private performance. Now, was that nerve wracking? Because, I mean, it, it must be, it's kind of different doing it in a situation like this to when you're out on the stage and there's all those people watching. Do you get nervous when you perform? Yeah, because we've done, we, we do, we do like Misunderstood quite a lot because it's a catchy song. Yeah. So we do it at the show every night in, like, in front of how many people? Like 500 or something. Amazing. And then we do it, I've just done it here. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we did it at West End Live, there was, yeah, was cool. how many people? Yeah. 6,000 or something <laughs> people there. A lot. Wow. So yeah. many. Yeah. So, you get it's like a, a different concept. atmosphere every yeah. time. It's very different, like doing it in the show though, like because obviously it's like such a good atmosphere. Like on our first show, it was such a good like. Oh and you can't, God, you our can't first really. Such good best show. When when you, when in the in the like in the theater, you can't really see the people because it's all like yep. pitch black. Yes, so and the lights go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine. So, um, but you, you, I'm assuming family members have been to see the play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The show quite a lot. Yeah. I never know with the musical whether to call it because. It's just a show. Is that the correct term? Show. Yeah. A show musical. rather than a play? A musical? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a musical. It's yeah. a musical. Um, <clears throat> so when your family are in the audience, does that make you more or less nervous? What, what, what about you, Nikki? Well, it's just it's the same, really, but it's just... you, do, you it's, it's just the same. It doesn't really... Like, you've got to put loads of effort in. Yeah. Just, even when your parents aren't there, it's just it's the yeah. same, even if they are there or they're not. That yeah. is true professionalism. When I was little doing the tiny... I used to do. I would prefer it if my parents weren't there, because I would find it more nerve nerve wracking if people that I knew yeah. were there, because yeah. they'd be looking at it differently. Whereas people that you you don't know. Um, so what about pre-show rituals? Because obviously you're working with some amazing <laughs> actors who have been 
performing for a lot longer than you guys. Yeah. They're older than 13 and three quarters. Mm -hmm. um, have they taught you any useful stuff to like get psyched, get in the zone, ready for the show? Um, I mean, we do like, we do like, like warm-ups, don't we? And then yeah. so we do like a physical, well, we don't do a physical, but we're introducing a physical yeah. warm-up. Oh, you're introducing one? Yeah, because we, no, we used to do it in rehearsals, but we didn't really do it because there's not much like, I don't know, we just didn't really do it, did we? Because no. we did like, and then we do like a vocal warm-up and then like safeties, because there's like some yeah. lifts, so we do have, like do safeties before the show, yes. just so everything goes smoothly. And, but, and then like, Regan does this little, own little warm-up, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, I have my Nigel warm-up. Nigel warm up. Yeah, to get you into the Nigel zone. Oh, yeah. Enthusiastic, ener energetic character. So yeah. So what does that, that involve? <laughs> oh, oh Shouting in the mirror like no. a monkey. Shall I do it? Shall I do it? Shall I do it? Go on and do it. Do it. Let's see it. Let's see oh, it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. 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 And yeah. Nigel has arrived. There he is. He does that Fantastic. about five times yeah, before the show, times. literally. Five times, five hundred times. It's literally wow. so many times. Yeah, yeah, good. So does that work? Do you now feel you feel I like feel Nigel? Like quite yeah. Hyped up now. Well, yeah. you know what? I feel like it might be quite good. We probably should have done this at the start, but just to go through and to give a little, a brief description of your character, so that people watching at home can really then put themselves. Because a lot of people, I mean, people that would, these books, as you know, came out in the 1980s. So a lot yeah. of people more like my age, grew up with these as stories that they really... So the characters that you're playing will mean a lot to the people yeah. who are coming to see. They won't just turn up. They'll turn up n knowing and loving the people that you play already. So just give us a quick quick run through. Molly, Molly So I play Pandora, and um, she's quite a really strong character. She's um, she, well, she turns out to be Adrian's girlfriend, so yeah, as you can see. Spoiler and, alert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, she's really, like, strong. She's a, a feminist. And she's, like... She like she knows she she's always right like she knows what's right and she like she's trying she's always trying to like change the world make it the world better she's like she's such a good character like she's really strong Amazing. she's fierce Relator. great you yeah. clearly really like it that must be very yeah, important yeah 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 great okay what about you uh, so I play Nigel and as you can tell from my warm up he's quite <laughs> energetic and enthusiastic to everything he does he doesn't he's Adrian's best friend throughout the whole show except from one part when he steals Pandora off Adrian. Classic punk behaviour. Yeah. <laughs> punk rock so yeah. He, just, he just has his own thoughts and doesn't really care what anyone else thinks, to mm. be honest. Okay, interesting guy. So I play Barry Kent, yep. the school bully. Yeah. Um, Which I'm, I'm, I'm not getting the school bully vibe from, from you in real okay. life, I have to say. <laughs> and you play the dog. dog. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Um, and... Obviously, as you can tell, he bullies Adrian throughout his whole life, apart from one scene, <laughs> um, which I'm not going to spoil, because no. I don't want to. Yeah. Um, and he's kind of like, like even the teacher's scared of him. So yeah. he, he kind of gives off bad vibes to everyone. And he's, he's really like, he's not really scared of anything, apart from, I would say, embarrassment. And I feel like he, he doesn't have an easy life because his mum's in prison. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Uh, basically, I play Adrian, and he's very dramatic. <laughs> yes. And he's, he makes everything a massive deal. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, I think it's he's so fun to play because, you know, you're always on the stage. Which yeah. Is, which and you fun. have those moments when you speak directly to the audience <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good because in other plays I've been, you just, like, the audience, are, like, they say, the audience aren't there, don't yeah. the audience. But it's fun because you can connect with the audience and, it's yeah, you just say stuff to them and it's just it's, he's really fun to play definitely yeah. well he's an iconic character yeah. so again congratulations on landing the role now guys you you mentioned at the beginning it's set in the 80s very different time right back then everybody kept a diary it was kind of the law as a child <laughs> you have to keep a diary um do you guys keep diaries do young people look at those shaking no. heads <laughs> I, I, I no. used to i actually used to but i was like I forgot, like, it's quite hard to do it every day. It's too much effort. Yeah. I couldn't really. Okay, so I was thinking maybe it's because of social media, but no, it's just because kids yeah. today are lazy. <laughs> well, no, my yeah. oldest sister had one, and I read it, and I thought... Uh, what? No, hang on, that's <laughs> not... And then I thought, why not make one? I picked up the diary, and I thought, this is a waste of time. So, but do you, do you guys, are you guys on social media? Is that... No, do, do, no. Do, 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 no, no. We're not allowed, we're not allowed. Ah, uh, of course. Yeah, no. <laughs> so until October... Oh right! Until you turn a certain age. Uh, no. Oh, until after the until, until yeah. after, after the thing. Show, yeah. I was thinking because there are laws around 
like age I think you have yeah. to be 13, 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or something yeah, yeah but you're 13 three quarters, so you're fine um, okay well look let's pretend you're in the 80s you've got diaries okay oh. I thought we could play a, a little quick game right yep. um, kind of in the spirit of sharing right um, we could find out what kind of diaries you might keep so I want to know which of you, and maybe the others could decide this, but which of you would be, be the most likely to write the following sort of things okay. in your diaries, okay? Yeah. okay? Okay, So who would be the most likely to write poetry? Oh. A key Not me, why me? Straight away. Not me, me. Yeah, I'm not be ashamed of. I don't write poetry. Nikki or, no, Nikki I'm saying Regan, Regan, 100%. Really? Yeah. Well, there's two types poetry. of poetry. There's kind of, you could write funny, silly maybe poetry, you could write deep, angsty, angsty maybe poetry. Maybe like a song poetry. Oh, no, no, yeah. Nikki, Nikki. No, I'm saying, I, don't, yeah. I don't know why, Regan. but I I'm feel like he's Regan. That's a good why? thing to be. Okay, well, it's not a split decision. Probably You've just tried to me. deflect. Molly or Nikki? Molly or Nikki? It's definitely not going to be Molly or Nikki. It's definitely not. I'm bad. I'm bad at writing. Oh, please. Well, it's just got to come from the heart. That's yeah. the thing about a diary. Also, in a diary, no one's going to read it. Yeah. So you could just write anything. Mm, sure. Okay, all right. So no so. clear poets, although maybe I'm thinking more like Regan. Regan. Okay, fine. Regan? Fine. Yeah. Um, who would be most likely to write? And this was, you had to, this was an essential part of any diary a list of all the people they fancy. That was that was always like, Molly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Molly. Molly. <laughs> celebrity, celebrity, and otherwise. Yes, yeah, celebrity, celebrity only. Yeah. Molly, okay, no, that'd be yeah. Molly. No, celebrity only. only. Molly's, Molly's going Molly. bright red. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> celebrity <laughs> only. Actually, no, okay. Yeah. All right, all right, fine, good. Um, what about um, all, all the juicy gossip? You know, <laughs> Kobe, Kobe. 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 What kind of gossip would you be writing? Kobe. I don't know. I'd be writing like. <laughs> All the drama that's going on at school. <laughs> oh. All the drama outside of school. He wouldn't even I have to write down, he just knows. He yeah, just yeah. Yeah. Know. It'd be locked in my brain forever. Wow. Until like we're 31 and I'll be like, do you remember the time when you did this? <laughs> <laughs> so you're like a human diary already. Yeah, it's don't all make me lodged. blackmail this person. <laughs> okay, good. Um, what about, uh, oh, this was also, but there's parents and grandparents in the room. Who'd be the most likely to com write mean things about their parents? That was always <gasps> oh, the... I'm Maybe. sorry, but I'd, Nikki, I would. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I would take like, I'm, I'm sorry, mum and dad. Sorry. <laughs> no, I, 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 but I would. No, I think we all we all love <laughs> our parents. Yeah, yeah we do. But Great. sometimes, sometimes we get a bit frustrated. Yeah, some, with them. Sometimes. <laughs> no. Most of the time. I wouldn't Brilliant. write about it though. I wouldn't. Yeah. I'd just be like, oh. Oh, you just shake it off. Oh, I'd yeah. sulk. Like, oh, okay. Time. Well, that's another good thing about a diary. You can sulk, and then the sulk is just stays forever. Yeah. And you can go back to the sulk, and you can re re experience because sulking is fun. Yeah. So I think it's like one of life's great pleasures, right? Don't um, do it too much, though. No, you don't want to do it too much. Good. You guys are much more mature than me. It's good, but embarrassing <laughs> for me. Um, okay, guys. So, sadly, we're going to have to wrap it up there. Yeah. But just before we go, I just want to know, what is the best thing about being in a music? Because there'll be lots of people out there, lots of uh, kids and grown-ups who want to do what you guys are doing and they want to live that experience through you. So what is, I've just got my producer Lucy say she wants to do it as well, literally. Right um, so what would, what is the best thing about being in a musical? What makes you love it the most? The people, the like family. Duh. I mean, the, I know that's such a classic answer, but it's the truth. It's just to see like when you're performing, like doing something you love and the people out there appreciate it, uh, appreciating it. <coughs> just to just, see like, just going on stage with all the lights yeah. and the band. It's just great. Yeah. Having Pretty people backstage shouting at you. <laughs> <laughs> shouting what? Positive side. That's Where is he? Where is Kobe? <laughs> <laughs> He's writing his diaries. Got loads of gossip to get down. <laughs> when you bow, that's like the best feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's. Like, like, I think also when you like step up the stage for the first time, you just like look in and you're like, oh. like it's just so like, it's just so fun. Like I don't know. Yeah. I just love it. It's, it's just a magic. Doing the yeah. like yeah. doing the dances and just like yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Have you guys seen Billy Elliot? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. When he says, it's like electricity. <laughs> Would you agree with that? Yeah. When you're on stage, is it yeah. like electricity? Yeah. 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 Electricity. Brilliant. <laughs> electricity. It's the song. Yeah. Brilliant. It's the song. Well, guys, listen, thank you so much no for problem. coming and thank talking you. to me. That was brilliant. Congratulations. You're thank all you amazing. Thank the you. musical thank is amazing. Go and see it. <laughs> guys, make a big uh, round of applause, please, one more time for Nikki, Kobe, Regan, and Molly May. And get your tickets to see The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, age 33 and three quarters, right now. We're back tomorrow with the cast of another great musical, On Your Feet, and I'm going to be interviewing Dom Jolly. But for now, one last time, give it up for the cast of Adrian Mole. Thank you, guys. Woo!